Broadcasting live from somewhere in the Shadow Realm, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links Talk. Here's your host, Doug Dimadoo. Hey there, welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links Talk. Today we're going to go through the rares in the Galactic Origin box set. This one is out and about at the shop right now, so take advantage of it. There's a sale going on, so if you're going to spend some money, now's the time. But without further ado, let's get into the rares. The first one we have is Sphinx Talia, and it's a level 10 beast, 2500 attack, 3000 defense. You can pay 500 life points to special summon this card when Pyramid of Light is on the field. This card cannot attack during the turn that is normal summoned or special summoned, and this card cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. If this card destroys a defense position monster as a result of battle, inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to half the defense of the destroyed monster. Then you got Andro Sphinx, another level 10 beast. You can pay 500 life points to special summon when Pyramid of Light is on the field. Now this one's got a 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense. Uh, but anyway... If this card destroys a defense position monster as a result of battle, inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to half of the attack of the destroyed monster. So pretty good. Then you got the Grand Jupiter. This is a level 8 warrior, 2500 attack, 2000 defense. Once per turn, you can discard two cards. Then target one face-up monster your opponent controls and equip that face-up monster to this card. This card gains attack equal to the combined original attack of the monsters equipped to it by this effect, uh, effect. And once per turn, during the end phase, you can target one monster card equipped to this card by this card's effect and special summon it to your field. This one's really good, although I don't like the cost of having to discard to activate the effect, but it's still a pretty good one. You could do some serious damage with it. Then you got Ally of Justice, uh, of Justice Cosmic Gateway. This is a level 8 machine, 2400 attack, 1200 defense. If your opponent controls two or more monsters, including a light monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Pretty good. Gladiator Beast Alexander, level 6 beast, 2400 attack, 600 defense. This card cannot be special summoned except by the effect of Gladiator Beast Demakari. If this card was special summoned, it is unaffected by the effects of spell cards. At the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked or was attacked, you can return to the deck to special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck, except Gladiator Beast Alexander. Then you have UFO Roid, level 6 machine. 1200 attack, 1200 defense. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one machine type monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck in face up attack position. Next, you have Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Coyote. It's a Beast Warrior, 2000 attack, 500 defense. If you control a fire formation, spell a trap card, and no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. That's pretty good, too. And then you got Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Buffalo. Level 4 Beast Warrior, 1700 attack, 1000 defense. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send a total of two Fire Fist or Fire Formation cards from your hand and or face up on your side of the field to the graveyard and special summon this card from your graveyard. You can only use the effect of Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Buffalo once per turn. And I really like the card artwork on these, too. Next, you have our Gen X Accelerator. And uh, this is one that I know... Uh, uh, YouTube Dan there did a did a real good job with his Gen X deck uh, with the addition of this card. This is a machine with 1500 attack and 1900 defense. When a Gen X monster is added from your deck to your hand, you can reveal that monster to special summon it. Now that includes uh, even during the draw phase, which is really really neat. Uh, then you got Gen X Searcher, level 4 machine, 1600 attack, 400 defense. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Gen X monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck in face-up attack position. So, uh, yeah, I figure, you know, their Gen X is getting a little bit of extra support. Now we're getting to some of the good ones here, like Gladiator Beast Bestiari. This is a level 4 winged beast, 1500 attack, 800 defense. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster, target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy that target. At the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked or was attacked, you can shuffle it into the deck and special summon one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck, except Gladiator Beast Bestiari. So really, really good one. This one, uh, you know, it's a good way to start clearing your opponent's back row. This is one of the most uh, effective monsters out of the Gladiator Beast right now. Uh, one that I hate to see my opponent special summon. And then you got Neo Space Pathfinder, level 4 warrior, 1800 attack, 800 defense. You can discard this card to the graveyard to add one Neo Space from your deck or graveyard to your hand. 
Then you got Elemental Hero Ocean, level 4 warrior, 1500 attack, uh, 1200 defense. Once per turn during your standby phase, you can target one hero monster you control or in your graveyard and return that target to the hand. Next you have Disciple of the Forbidden Spell, level 4. This is another card that I want to add to one of my warrior decks. Uh, 1700 attack, 800 defense. When this card is summoned, declare, uh, declare different monster card attributes equal to the number of Disciple of the Forbidden spells in your graveyard. If this card attacks a monster that has a declared attribute, destroy the monster with this card's effect without applying damage calculation. So, uh, the name of the game is to hopefully get one of these copies already in your graveyard, then have one out on the field that use its effect. And, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of like a Super Rush Headlong built in, as long as you're able to declare the right attributes. So, really cool. Then you got Cybernetic uh, Cyclopean. This is a level 4 Beast Warrior, 1400 attack, 200 defense. While you have no cards in your hand, this card gains 1000 attack. So another good card for Handless to get more support. Uh, then you got Brotherhood of the Fist of the Fire Fist Raven, uh, 200 attack, 1800 defense. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can set one Fire Formation spell card directly from your deck. Fire Formation spell or trap cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. That's a really strong effect, and I like that. Then you got Ally of Justice Searcher, level 3 machine, 1400 attack, 100 defense. Once per turn, discard one card to select one face down defense position monster your opponent controls and change it to face up attack position. Flip effects are not activated at this time, so maybe you could expose a, uh, you know, a man eater bug and not activate its effect. That would be pretty cool. The yeah, Gladiator Beast Mermillo, level uh, level 3 fish, eight, 800 attack, 400 defense. When this card is special summoned by the effect of uh, Gladiator Beast Monster, target one face-up monster and destroy that target. At the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked or was attacked, shuffle it back into the deck and special summon another Gladiator Beast Monster. So this one is the other really excellent staple to a Gladiator Beast deck. I know it's not very strong attack and defense-wise, but it allows you to destroy a monster on the field. Just make sure that your opponent has a monster on the field, otherwise you'll be destroying your own monsters by that point. Then you got Neospatian Aqua Dolphin, level 3 warrior, 600 attack, 800 defense. Once per turn you can discard one card, look at your opponent's hand, and choose one monster card in it. If you control a monster with attack greater than or equal to the attack of the chosen card, destroy the chosen card and inflict 500 damage to your opponent, otherwise take 500 damage. Not bad. Next, you got Test Ape, level 2 beast, 700 attack, 300 defense. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level 4 or lower gladiator beast monster from your deck. And then you got Elemental Hero Aqua Neos, level 7 warrior fusion monster, 2500 attack, 2000 defense. It requires Elemental Hero Neos and uh, spa- uh, Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Must first be special summoned from your extra deck by shuffling the above cards you control into the deck without polymerization. Then once per turn, you can discard one card and destroy one random card in your opponent's hand. During the end phase, shuffle this card into the extra deck. So, you know, it's got a pretty good attack, a pretty good attack power, but also I like the um, the destruction of resources in your opponent's hand. Uh, next rare we have is Gladiator Beast uh, Esidari, level 5 Beast Fusion, 2500 attack, 1400 defense, requires two Gladiator Beast monsters, and must first be special summoned from your extra deck by shuffling the cards into the deck without polymerization. It's just kind of a plain vanilla fusion monster. And uh, now we got Backup Squad. This is a continuous spell where each time you take 1,000 or more damage by your opponent's card effect or their monster's attack, draw one card for every 1,000 damage you took. I like this card a lot. This could come in handy. Uh, next is Hymn of Light. It's a ritual spell. Use the ritual summon uh, Sephira, Queen of Dragons. Uh, if a ritual monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card instead. Boy, does that sound familiar. That sounds like uh, Cyber Angels, doesn't it? Uh, well, you know, pretty similar. Uh, then the have Fire Formation Tenzu. It's a uh, continuous spell where during your main phase, you can normal summon one Beast Warrior type monster in addition to your normal summon or set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. All Beast Warrior uh, type monsters you control gain 100 attack. Then you got Gladiator Beast uh, uh, Respite. Shuffle two Gladiator Beast cards from your hand into your deck, then draw three cards. So, yeah, that's a pretty good one. It's, uh, you know, getting if you want some draw power, you could go with that. 
And now you have a field spell, Coliseum Cage of the Gladiator Beast. Place one counter on this card each time a monster is special summoned from either player's deck. All Gladiator Beast monsters gain 100 attack and defense for each of the counters on this card. If this card would be destroyed by a card effect, you could discard one Coliseum Cage of the Gladiator Beast to prevent this card from being destroyed. So this is one of those long haul cards if you're able to, you know, hopefully keep your cards going, uh, keep this on the field early. Uh, this could snowball into a lot of high attack power uh, Gladiator Beast monsters. Uh, now we have Field Barrier. Continuous spell card where field spell cards on the field cannot be destroyed. Neither player can activate a new field spell card. You can only control one field barrier. Uh, this, uh, this would go really, really well with a uh, Toon Kingdom, I would think. And now you got Neo Space. It's another uh, field spell card where Elemental Hero Neos and all fusion monsters that list Elemental Hero Neos as a fusion material monster gain 500 attack. Fusion monsters that list Elemental Hero Neos as a fusion material monster do not have to activate their effects during the end phase that shuffle them into the extra deck. So that's pretty good. And here's another card that I'm, I'm going to try and utilize. This is Refusion. It's, uh, it's an equipped spell where you activate this card by paying 800 life points, then target one fusion monster in your graveyard and special summon it and equip it with this card. When this card is destroyed, banish the equipped monster. My Body as a Shield. This is a quick play spell where when your opponent activates a spell or trap card or monster effect that would destroy a monster on the field except during the damage step, pay 500 life points, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Uh, now you got another Fire Formation card. This is Fire Formation Tenkin. It's a continuous trap card. Activate only during main phase 1. When this card is activated, target one Beast Warrior type monster you control. During this phase, its effects are negated. Also, it's unaffected by the effects of cards other than this card. This applies even if this card leaves the field. All Beast Warrior type monsters you control gain 300 attack. So that's a pretty good trap as well. I'm kind of kind of interested in now toying around with a fire formation deck i want to see how this one works out um but again i want to kind of hang on to some of these cards uh, just for the future uh especially when you got fire formation tenzu uh this may work out really really well in the future if they start introducing yosenju so um anyway i don't i don't know how far into the future that's going to be but still uh now it's time to start getting these packs make sure you have all your resources and uh start start building some pretty cool decks so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the rares. If there's anything that you want to add, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Talk. It's all one word, at Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Talk, and I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Take care.